In the introduction to this lesson, we'll use algebra tiles to factor two special polynomials. In part A, we'll factor 4x squared minus 9. Four x squared minus nine is called a difference of squares. The first term is a perfect square since four x squared is obtained from squaring two x. The last term is also a perfect square since nine is obtained by squaring three. A minus separates the first and last terms. There is no middle term. Let's make a grid to hold the algebra tiles. We'll use four large yellow squares to represent 4x squared, and nine small red squares to represent minus 9. Place the four large yellow squares in the upper left quadrant. Place the nine small red squares in the lower right quadrant. We have a problem. We need to make a rectangle, but there is no x term. Where do the remaining tiles come from? Using our virtual algebra tile kit, fill in the lower left quadrant with yellow rectangles. Now fill in the last quadrant with red rectangles. The grid now says 4x squared plus 6x minus 6x minus 9, which is the same as 4x squared minus 9, since all the rectangles cancel each other out. In order to make the four large yellow squares, we need to place two yellow rectangles in the left column, and another two yellow rectangles in the top row. If we put three small red squares in the top row, we can get back all six red rectangles. If we put three small yellow squares in the left column, we can get back the rest of the tiles. The left column is 2x plus 3. The top row is 2x minus 3. The factors of 4x squared minus 9 are 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. Now we'll learn how to factor using the difference of squares shortcut. Let's bring back 4x squared minus 9. Step 1 of the shortcut is to write two empty sets of brackets. Step 2 of the shortcut is to square root the first term and put it first in each set of brackets. The square root of 4x squared is 2x, and the animation shows how it is positioned. In step 3, we'll square root the last term and put it last in each set of brackets. The square root of 9 is 3, and the animation shows how it is positioned. In step 4, we need opposite signs in the brackets, 1 minus and 1 plus. Write opposite signs in each set of brackets to get the final answer. The factors are 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 3. In part b, we'll factor x squared minus 6x plus 9. x squared minus 6x plus 9 is called a perfect square trinomial. The first term is a perfect square, since x squared is the same as x times x.
The last term is also a perfect square, since 9 is 3 squared. The absolute value of the middle term is double the product of the square roots of the first and last terms. Let's break down this statement to understand it more clearly. If we square root the first term, we get x. If we square root the last term, we get 3. The product of these two values is 3x. The absolute value of the middle term is 6x, which is double the product of the square roots for the first and last terms. Let's draw a grid so we can factor the trinomial with algebra tiles. We'll use one large yellow square to represent x squared, six red rectangles to represent minus 6x, and nine small yellow squares to represent positive 9. Place the large yellow square in the upper left quadrant. Place the nine small yellow squares in the lower right quadrant. We can place three red rectangles in the lower left quadrant. We can place the three remaining red rectangles in the upper right quadrant. In order to get back the large yellow square, place one yellow rectangle in the side column and another yellow rectangle in the top row. Put three small red squares in the top row to get back the red rectangles. Put three small red squares in the left column to get back the rest of the tiles. The left column is x minus 3. The top row is x minus 3 as well. This factors out to x minus 3 and x minus 3. Since we have identical binomials, we can condense this to x minus 3 squared. Now we'll learn how to use the perfect square trinomial shortcut. As we discussed earlier, we know this is a perfect square trinomial since the first term is a perfect square, the last term is a perfect square, and the middle term is twice the product of the square roots of the first and last terms. In step one, we write an empty set of brackets. In step two, we'll square root the first term and place it first within the brackets. The square root of x squared is x, and its position is shown in the animation. In step three, we'll square root the last term and place it last within the brackets. The square root of 9 is 3, and its position is shown in the animation. In step 4, we copy the sign of the middle term into the brackets. Position the minus as shown in the animation. In step 5, we square the brackets. The final answer is x minus 3 squared. We should now take a moment to compare difference of squares with perfect square trinomials.
A difference of squares expression has two terms with a minus in the middle. There is no middle term. A perfect square trinomial has three terms. Now we'll compare the algebra tile solutions. In a difference of squares, the x terms must cancel out so there is no middle term. This means we need rectangles of opposite color in the outlined quadrants. In a perfect square trinomial, the x terms do not cancel out. We need rectangles of the same color in the outlined quadrants. The factored form of a difference of squares has factors with opposite signs. The factored form of a perfect square trinomial has factors with the same sign.